Um, there is a powerful voice in the trans community we are fortunate enough to have with us today, and I hope you'll all lend an ear to the amazingly beautiful Pepper. Honestly, never dreamt of such a beautiful day. I'm so happy to be here with each of you on this gorgeous day here in New York City. Um, and I want to say thank you to MasterCard and Glad and Ruben for making this possible. Um, I also wrote a few things on my phone. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm really feeling very blessed and thankful to be one of the first to lay eyes on this beautiful sculpture that we have here today. Um, and as I said, I never dreamt of a day like this. When I was younger, kids were often asked, I think we were all asked what we wanted to be when we grow up, what do we want to do? Folks would always say doctors, lawyers, you know, police people, <laughs> police officers. Um, and I, for some reason, it was always really difficult for me to express what I wanted to be, what that meant for me. And I think some of that has to do with the fact that I just honestly couldn't see, I couldn't envision the day where I'd be standing here as this woman in front of you. There were not a lot of role models, there wasn't a lot of visibility for people in the LGBT community back in the day. And when you Standing at the intersection of black and trans and female means even less visibility and less representation, oftentimes. And, um, and so I didn't really have the ingredients that I think were necessary to create the dreams that I would eventually be able to realize. And those were the, the those possibilities were, were there, those opportunities were already there for so many other people in my life, other youngsters and other classmates. Uh, instead of positive images and role models, I know that there was no shortages, no shortage of negative stories, negative images on the daily, things like the Jerry Springer show where we would see trans women being beaten with chairs every day on TV because they were expressing their love for someone. And <clears throat> I think that is, I think it can, it's pretty clear to see how that could serve as a barrier to someone being able to see themselves in a positive light, you know. So unfortunately, stories like that are on the rise. Stories of violence and murder, not only in this country, but in Brazil, where in 2017, I believe there were 144 murders of trans women. 144 murders of trans women. And that was, I think at the time, a record on the rise, compared to, I think, 65 in 2008. And so with visibility, there becomes vulnerability sometimes. And in America, I'm, well, I'm very thankful that the number and the murder rate of, reported murder rate of trans women of color is much lower, it's, it's still also on the rise. And it's kind of an un unusual situation because I'm very thankful to be here in the United States where there's so many possibilities and so many opportunities for so many people. But I think we know that wherever there is an abundance of possibility and opportunity and visibility for some, that automatically means that there's a lack of abundance of, there's a lack of opportunity and possibility for others. And it's been really great for me to be a part of and being, being able to participate in sort of going back and redeeming the stories of people like Dendero Dos Santos, who in any other situation their name would have never been spoken. And to have an opportunity to have her name and her essence carried on is just such a beautiful thing. And so I'm so happy that we are able to, as 
thanks to your artistry, Ruben. I'm so happy to be able to, to go back and redeem her story. And hopefully this will be the beginning of other queer people, trans people, trans young girls and gender non-conforming people to have a space where they can come and feel safe and know that their dreams can be realized and that this can be the beginning of the change that we need to see. And we are seeing it. You know, I don't want to paint a grim picture. There's a lot of wonderful possibility models. There's a lot of beautiful role models, some of whom are standing here with us today. And um, I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for doors starting to open. And now we have a permanent, I hope, a permanent <laughs> place where we can come and have our dreams realized. So thank you so much for that, Madame. Woo! Woo!